All right, so A Boogie was in Paris, and it looked like he got into a crazy back and forth with some bouncers at a club because he couldn't bring in his liquor bottle. Let's check out the video. now i want y'all to notice this dude in a dress he look like he's starting all this shit this dark skinned guy looking at boogie right now he's starting all this shit Now see, Boogie went to the car And I think he felt like Hell no, nah, nigga, I ain't going out like no bitch All right, so you hear Boogie at the end talking about how they treat me like this. How they treat me like this. Now, by the way, he in Paris. And I want y'all to peep this real quick. Bro picked up the, like, sectional, you know, in the middle of when you going up in the club. He picked up that pole. Because this is Paris. They don't have the real poles. So he picking up weapons. And I see some people talking about, y'all going to stop thinking Paris is sweet. Dog, if all y'all can do is pick up a pole <laughs> and you can't pick up no real pole, we going to continue to think Paris is sweet, okay? I'm just being real with y'all. That's what we going to do. Because if this was America, that would have went left. He would have got two shots of Hennessy, point blank. Bro picked up a pole, and I, I it seemed like he was the aggressor. I don't know if he was upset. He felt disrespected because A Boogie put the bottle down or something like that, or he took a sip of the bottle or something. Like I, I don't know what it was, but it seemed like a whole bunch of bullshit. It seemed like one of those nights where they wanted to be like, oh, we don't care if you a rapper. Nah, nigga, you can't get up in here. It's like, it, it was it was weird to me. Now, I don't know if they invited him there, but regardless, if an A-list celebrity come to your club, and I know a lot of people will say Boogie ain't an A-list celebrity, but in Paris, he more famous than, you know what I'm saying, than a lot of niggas, you know what I mean? You should at least be inviting. You should want this nigga to come hang out. And what these places don't understand is, won't nobody else come to your shit? Won't nobody else famous come to your shit? Even some niggas from 
Paris might be thinking, hold on, bro. Is this how y'all treat niggas with the bag? Now, by the way, Boogie did respond on Instagram and he said, niggas only got out of there because they maced us. So they maced them. Now, like I said, this is Paris. They don't have no poles. All they can do is pick up metal and mace people, okay? Also, they got the shanks, too. You know, it's like Shawshank Redemption out there, okay? And Boogie said, never running from a nigga. Laugh my ass off. Fuck, I look like playing with mace. Niggas can't fight. I mean, you know. Bro didn't want to scrap. He wanted to pick up the pole. Literally, the literal pole. Then I saw some people talking about when A Boogie ran. Now, I don't think A Boogie was running. I think his people was trying to hold him back and push him back. Because I don't think A Boogie was scared of that. Because like I said, bro, like A Boogie from New York and I'm from Detroit. I just know if somebody picked up the section or the thing to let you in the club trying to scrap. That, that That's not going to stop me if I'm upset and I feel like I've been pushed to a certain extent. You know, I got to be careful on YouTube. I can't I can't say everything I would like to say. You feel me? But I don't think A Boogie was scared at all. Of, of bro picking up the thing. Ho, 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 mans. Hold on, mans. Mans. I, I got the, the poor. <laughs> but I do think A Boogie was drunk. Because he was saying, bro, why they treat me like this? Because it, it did seem like it was forced. It seemed like he was confused. He didn't know why it started. Like I said, it felt like some bouncers was trying to be tough for no reason. I think the owner probably pissed at them niggas. Like, come on, bro. Y'all costing me money now, trying to be tough and shit outside the club. Nigga, just, just, <laughs> just stop security risk. That, that's your job. You don't stop the money. You stop security risk, nigga. I hope that nigga got fired. This nigga right here looking like an extra from the Black Panther movie. Nigga, you need to be fired. You, you doing too much. Let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I will see y'all next time. Peace.